Hi guys, welcome to Veggie Mama, and today I am going to be making some um, spaghetti squash. I have tried this before, didn't come out right. Try it again. The second time I tried, it came out right, but it was so. It wasn't um, inside was very like pale. So I'm gonna open. I got this from Alden. I'm gonna open this up and see what it looks like. So what I'm gonna do. I'm going to cut this open like so. Inside is pale. I don't know why it's this color, but let's. Okay, what we're going to do this time, I'm going to de seed this. Take out the seed. It's best for you to take out the seed before you bake it. So much better. Okay. One seed. I don't know why it's so pale inside, but I guess it comes in different color. colors so I'm just going to take these out okay put these aside so what I'm going to do at this time guys I am going to use a knife the pierced knife I'm just going to cut it like this so when it's fully baked, it will come out like in not long strings, but semi-long. Okay, so next I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to put a little bit of water in there. Maybe the Hmm, around one fourth cup, one third. I'm going to steam it. Put it in the oven. Maybe, maybe I'm going to change it to a bigger. But this is fine. Put it in the oven. Going to bake it at 425 for 30 minutes to 45 depends on how crunchy you like it so i'm gonna do it for 30 minutes and i'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks like okay guys so i forgot to mention i'm gonna cover this up also so it's still in the moisture i'm gonna cover it up so guys so while the spaghetti um, nuts squash is baking. I want to come in and show you what I'm going to make. I'm going to be making some meatballs. I am going to be using the um, Beyond Burgers to do that. So it's just two burgers come in the package. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open it up like this. I'm just going to add some black pepper, this is my papaya black pepper. And salt, onion powder, garlic powder. I'm gonna break it up. I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs, guys. My gluten free bread. All I do, guys, just grind up in my food process. I just grind up the bread inside. That's it. So it's just about a cup.
of breadcrumbs. A little bit of um, avocado oil. A tablespoon. I'm just gonna form it together and that's it. Very easy. You can use this burger in so many different ways. Okay, so I'm gonna make some, bake these in the oven. 350, 50 minutes on each, each side. And I will show what it looks like. So I went ahead and divided them in, in half and I made them smaller so we can all have some. So guys, this is finished. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip it over. In the, ooh, in the plate, I'm gonna cool down some. See, now it changed the color. It's hot. It's hot. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Ooh, it's hot. So, so okay. So it's nice and yellow inside. While well, the burger is going, cool this, cool this down. Then I'm gonna fuck up and show you guys. Okay, guys, I want to show you something. So this, this is how you know that it's finished baking. Right here, you can see this little line. You see, you can break it, break it apart. See? So I'm gonna scrape it out. It's hot. Scrape it out. I'm gonna serve it with the meatball with some spaghetti sauce. Take your time. Scrape it out, guys. This is low carbs. If you're looking for a low carbs um spaghetti. This is perfect for this. Whew, it's hot. All this spaghetti here. Just like spaghetti. Did it, guys. I did it this time. Yeah, it's finished. Okay, so I'm gonna scrape it out and I'll show you when I'm completely finished. So here you have it, guys. Yeah. Spaghetti, butternut squash. Nice. Stringy, just like spaghetti. I like it crunchy if you want a little bit softer. You could do it that way, but it's very easy. You could put some oil in there with some salt and some, you know, black pepper. And you just like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to be serving myself with some um, meatball with some sauce. So I hope you guys try this. Don't shy away from the spaghetti squash, guys. Spaghetti squash, not butternut squash, but don't shy away from it. You know, give it a try. Let's say it's low carb. It's a, you know, it's a good replacement for um, um, pasta. If you're looking for um, something to replace the pasta. So give this a try and I hope you guys um, try this recipe. Like this video, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.